Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel today. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for stumbling upon this video. Welcome. If you don't already know, my name is Anna. Thanks for being here. Um, we're about to do quite possibly the craziest makeup look I have ever done in my entire life. And I hope you're ready because it's about to get wild. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And as always, subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. Just click that little red button, turn it gray, um, and come join my little YouTube family. Anyway, let's get started. So today we are doing what is called a random color generated makeup look. I first saw this on TikTok and before I explain anymore, I want to give credit. So we're going to I'm gonna insert the TikTok right here so that you could take a look at it and see for yourself. There is no sound because the song is copyrighted. But this is kind of what we're working with. Basically, you look up a random color generator, which I did, um, on the internet, and it generates random colors for you, just completely random. And we're going to have to follow this color palette to a T no matter what, and that includes foundation. So I might get like a blue foundation, I might get like a green foundation, I might get a pink foundation, and I have to put it on my face, which is gonna be interesting, because I don't have a pink or blue or purple foundation. Uh, so I'm gonna have to take my regular foundation and kind of mix in pigments and see what I can do. But we're gonna give it a try no matter what. So no, So no matter what I get, no matter what happens, I have to do whatever color it tells me and this can get, I have a feeling by the end it's gonna look quite sci-fi-esque because it just takes not getting like a tan beige color for foundation to make this whole look look completely nuts. So <laughs> let's dive right in. I'm really scared. Um, I have, I currently have my foundation, uh, not my foundation, I have my moisturizer on my face. My face is cleaned, moisturized, and primer is on. So let's figure out what our first color is. Ready? Let's take a look at the random color generator. And it's pink. All right. I don't have any face paint. I should have bought face paint for this, um, but we're gonna... All right. So we have pink foundation. All right. Okay. Okay, here we go. All right. I just mixed up some pink foundation. <laughs> I think this is the closest I can get because I used a really dark pink and it's not quite as dark as I wanted, but we're going to go for it. And I'm just going to use my finger because my hands are already a mess from mixing the whole thing. So we're just going to use our fingers today. Might as well. Um, this is quite possibly the weirdest thing I have ever done makeup wise. I can't wait to see how this looks. This is going to look so bizarre. I currently feel like someone having like a really bad allergic reaction. Okay, screw it. I'm gonna use my beauty blender now. I'm gonna have to wash it, but that's fine. Gotta blend down the neck. Although I wish, <laughs> I'm really wishing I didn't wear such a, um, a deep cut shirt right now. Oh, I'm moving my camera. I'm sorry. I kind of feel like an Oompa Loompa gone wrong. You know what I mean? All right, so now that I'm officially pink up until here, because I don't want to blend any farther, uh, I'm officially pink. I'm a raspberry. And now it's time to figure out what our concealer color will be. Are you ready? Random color generator, show us what you got. More pink. Okay, it's fine. It's fine, more pink, um, a slightly lighter by not much. Okay, here we go. It's fine. Here we go. If you're thinking about um, doing this video yourself as a makeup artist for your own YouTube, if you have your own YouTube, you're like, huh, this sounds fun. It's awful. Oh my god, this is the hardest thing I think I've ever done. It's not really a lighter pink. It's not what I want. Let's try adding some of this pink to it and see if it makes it a little more pinkish. Oh 
I'm gonna have to clean my beauty blender sponge so much. <sighs> what am I doing? This is a point where I start to question why exactly I'm doing this. And honestly, I don't know. You know what you should do right now while I'm doing this? You should hit that subscribe button. It'd make my day. Cause I'm completely pink now. This is gonna, oh my God, is this gonna stain my skin? This might, this might stain my skin. How does that look? Our concealer looks a little bit lighter, right? Lighter pink, hopefully. Time to figure out what our next color is going to be. And we're gonna move to the eyes now. We did the foundation, we did concealer. We're gonna move to, no, not eyes. We're gonna do eyebrows. All right, random color generator. Show us what you got. It's a purple. Okay. Okay, it's like a purple mid-tone. Okay. All right, we could do it. We could do it. It's fine. All right, so we got like a mid-purple for bra uh, for brows. So let's do it. Let's do it. This will be easy. We'll find a purple eyeshadow that looks like a similar color. Oh, there's one right here. We could use that one. Okay, and let me find my brow butt brush. Okay. All right, we'll use this angled brush. It's a little bigger than I want it to be, but we're going to do it anyway. I'm going to take that purple just on the angle. Gosh, the things I do for makeup. The whole thing, I think the whole thing with this challenge is, is no matter what um, bizarre colors you're using, as a makeup artist, you should like find a way to make it look okay. We're gonna look very sci-fi. We're gonna look like we belong in some like weird alien movie. That's okay. I also, yeah, I know. I didn't blend it down all the way to my neck. I know that might be bothering some of you. I get it. Um, I just, I'll hike my shirt up higher so it doesn't look as bad. But I was wearing, I'm wearing a kind of a low cut shirt today and I was like, that's gonna be a lot of work to have to clean that off. I took a shower yesterday. Why didn't I wait until after I was done doing this to take a shower? I might have to take another one, um, depending on how well this comes off. How do our purple eyebrows look? Do they look so good? I'll tell you, I really wish I left my pink wig at my apartment. I'm currently at home, not in my apartment, but I wish I had brought it because this would be a perfect moment for that pink wig. All right, let's go find out what colors we're putting on our eyes, guys. Are you ready? And random color generator, show us what you got. And we got a light green. And we start with that on the eyes. All right, let me find a light greenish color. I think that one was pretty close, right? Like that tealy green. Probably the closest I got, really. So we're gonna start with that. We get three, just so you know, we get three colors for the eyes. So this is the first one. So I guess this will be our transition shade. Although I will say pink and like this light green tend to go together. So we might be able to salvage this, guys. All right, we got our first eye color done. I actually really, really love this color. It's so pretty. All right, let's find out what else we're doing to our face. <laughs> so the next eye color is random color generator. Show us what we got. It's another green. It's a dark green. Okay, okie dokie. Let's see, can I find a dark green? Do I have a dark green? All right, I know, so this next color, I know this isn't the like, closest I have to that green, but I don't have a lot of greens. Even though I love greens, but we're gonna use this color and you might be like, it kind of looks like the same one. It's not, it's darker. It looks, it's coming up brighter in the pan, but it is a mid-tone green. So let's try it out guys. See how this goes. We'll deepen it up. We'll deepen up that crease, that crease and that side color. I mean, maybe if this look turns out great, this will be my go-to. My go-to makeup look, just pink. I 
I know this isn't the closest green. I'm sorry. <laughs> I couldn't get that close of a green. I tried, guys. I tried. But I don't have that kind of green. Let's go under the eyes a little bit. Let's let's smoke it out. Give ourselves some really smoky or really smoky eye look. Remember, we're an alien from an alien planet. That's what we're going with. If anyone asks, we're from a from an alien planet. It's fine. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna leave it there on the eyes, and we get one more color. Random color generator. Show us what we got. Okay, like a magenta. So we got like a bright magenta. I should be able to find that. Oh, okay. So let's do the wine and only palette. Oop, I'm sorry. I'll come in the mirror. And this color looks kind of close. It's like a magenta-y red shimmer tone. So we could put that on the lid. Make the lid kind of sparkly. And let's put that on the lid. Yeah, I'd say that's a pretty decent color. I think the thing about this challenge is you kind of have to work with what you got and kind of try and make the color as close as you can. Um, it's not going to blend well, I feel like, these two colors, but it's fine. It's fine. We're, we're making it work. We're doing, we're doing our best. We're doing the best that we can. I mean, it's a fun challenge. If you're bored, you want to really look kind of crazy? Do it. Do it. I dare you. I'm just taking that fluffy blender brush and trying to get it to kind of blend a little bit. So that it doesn't look completely crazy. But why wouldn't it? Can't wait to put this look up on my Instagram. My makeup Instagram specifically. Um, if you ever want to see kind of looks that I'm doing and such like that. Uh, I have an Instagram called Anna Zikis Makeup. Uh, I just made it. It's a brand new Instagram. But I will be posting pictures of this look and also other looks I do in the future, even ones that I don't put on YouTube. And you kind of want to see what I do normally. This is not normal. <laughs> All right. Let's see what the color generator has for us next. We have moved on from the eyes now. Um... I should probably go put on eyelash. We'll put on eyelashes. In the video, okay, in the video I showed you guys, she did eyeliner. I don't particularly like, I don't hate eyeliner, I shouldn't say that. I'm kind of indifferent to eyeliner. Sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't. I don't wanna mess with it. I'm just gonna go with that. We're gonna go with that for the eyes. Um, so I'm gonna go put these on. These are the SOSU um, Sarah lashes. I'm gonna go put these on really quick. All right, so I just put eyelashes on. And for some odd reason, I went with a very, sorry, I'm blending out a little bit more. I put on a very, like, natural short pair of eyelashes. I don't know why. Because this is not a natural look. But that's fine. That's fine. Don't judge my inconsistencies. Next, we have contour. Random color generator, please. Show us what you got. Blue. Blue. All right. I think I found a good color. We're gonna use um, this color right here and we are going to contour with it. We gotta contour a little under the cheekbone, under the cheek there. Kinda looks like I got a blue beard going. You know, if you had naturally um, pink skin, I'm just saying. You probably don't, but you would not contour with blue. You would probably contour with like a red, logically speaking. But nothing about this look is logical, so. At least we kind of have some like grainy blue colors in our in our eye makeup, so it kind of matches, but it really doesn't. This blue does not want to blend. I am just saying that now. It's going to look very muddy. Regret. So much regret. We have to try and make this look as nice as we can, right? The pink foundation is coming off. It's like rubbing off the pink foundation. So I'm just saying this might be my worst makeup video yet. Might be. I don't know if I'm talented enough to make to make this work. I'm not. I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm good at real makeup. Just so you guys know. You're not like, oh, she's trash. I'm not though. I promise. All right. Now that we kind of look like a mermaid, I'm kind of getting some mermaid vibes. 
should put some scales on my face. Just kidding. Next, let's find out what the blush color is going to be. Or no, the highlight color. Yeah, let's do highlight first. Highlight, what color are you? Kind of looks like a goldy, greeny, olive color. Well, actually, can I think that, does that color kind of look like it a little bit? Like, no? Maybe that one? I'm trying to find like a sparkle shade that's as close to that color as I can so that it kind of looks like highlight. I'm gonna go with that color. It's very dark. It's really dark, but okay. I'm trying to be like super light with it because it's like a black base almost and... Okay, we're kind of getting some sparkle in there. It's fine, we'll go with it. I can't wait to take this off. That's gonna be fun, right? Kind of coming off blue and that's not what I want. So I'm gonna kind of take a yellow color also and kind of put it over it. Make it m look more like that olivey color. Cause it looks olivey in the pan, but it's coming out kind of like blackish blue. So we're gonna go with a little bit of yellow on top, right? That'll balance it out, right? I don't know. I don't know anymore. I don't know what I'm doing. If you really just wanna give up on yourself and wondering, where you're at in your life and why you're doing this I recommend this challenge you'll be like why am I doing this because that's the question that keeps going through my head right now <laughs> why am I doing this why did I I saw this TikTok and it looked really cute when she did it and now I'm like I look terrible I don't know how she made it look cute I look bad she also had a wig on but I don't have any wigs not here at least I have a few wigs at my apartment but not at home okay Let's find out what our blush and then lip color is, and then we'll be done. Yay! All right, let's go find that out. All right, so for blush, we got another pink that's very similar to the skin tone that I currently have. So I guess that's a bonus, right? Um, blush is usually like a pinky color. Probably use an actual blush. Yeah, let's go with this one. This one looks pretty close to it, right? Maybe fix up that blue right there you might be like why'd you put your highlight on first I don't know um I actually usually do that while doing my makeup and I don't know why sometimes I have to wash all my brushes again I just washed them too I don't know why I did that it's a good blush color for this skin tone <laughs> all right Let's find out. Let's finish this up, guys. Let's finish this up. Random color generator. What what color lip am I wearing today? Blue. Okay, this is just a pink and blue look. All right, let's go get some blue lipstick. How's that? That looks like a close enough color, right? It's the closest I got, so we're doing it. I hate that my teeth look really yellow right now because they're not. They're not yellow. I don't know why they're showing up yellow. Because I just did some like whitening mouthwash today and they were looking nice and white before I started. All right. <laughs> not great. I don't know. Let's just take a second. And let's just look at it in its glory of what I've just done to my face. Yikes. <laughs> This is gonna be a disaster to take off. But um, I want your thoughts. I want your thoughts in the comments. Please just put something down there. Do you think if you were given this color, these colors, do you think you could have done better than this? <laughs> I don't hate the eyeshadow. The eyelashes were not the right ones for this look. I should have done like really big, like dramatic eyelashes, but I didn't. Uh, I don't hate the eyebrows. This lip color, it makes my teeth look yellow and I don't like it because they're not. I keep them nice and light, but they look yellow now because of this color lipstick. The blue contour, I think, just like started moving the pink foundation and it's kind of messing it up. I don't know. I think I did the best that I could with what I had. Um, I used all these from my like makeup collection and like mixing colors. I don't have like face paint or SFX colors. Um, 
and makeup. I should invest in that if I'm going to be doing more challenges like this. But, um, I don't know. Give me your thoughts. Have you seen that TikTok? What do you think of hers? Uh, what do you think of mine? Do you think I did a good job? I hope I did a good job. Uh, I definitely wouldn't walk out of my house looking like this. I'll tell you that. But let's just take a second. I'll give you a second to look at it. I'm using my hair to cover the part I didn't blend down my neck. Makes my eyes look very blue for some reason. Which I'm okay with, but the, re <laughs> the rest of the face is just a mess. Alright guys, let's end there, right? Please give this video a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Drop a comment. Let me know what you think. If you would ever do this, I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna conclude it there. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Subscribe. Hit that thumbs up button. I've said that before. Drop a comment. And um, I hope you have a wonderful day.